What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, I would like to say welcome and if you guys could please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all of that does help with the YouTube algorithm and helps boost my video to more and more people. So thank you to every single one of you guys that do that on all my videos. And yes, we do have another sneaker unboxing, but this is just not any ordinary sneaker unboxing. I finally picked up one of my grails, a delayed W from 2021. So let's get right into this video. So we do have the box right here and I do have my handy dandy trusty knife right here. We're gonna get this open right here. So I was able to pick this shoe up on the GOAT app for around $360 and some change. Now this pair was going for around 550 bucks at one point and I decided to wait off on it. Try to look for a used pair, but luckily I got blessed. Somebody uploaded a size 11 for around $320 after fees and shipping, all of that stuff. It came to around 360 bucks, which I think is a really good price for this pair. And here we have it, New Balance boys. I can't wait to show you guys which colorway and which model I picked up. So let's first go over my GOAT process, the timing, the shipping, and everything like that. So like I said, I did pick this pair up from GOAT. I bought it brand new. And this pair actually did ship from China, which I was kind of skeptical about that. More of the time of delivery, I did not know how long it would take to get to me from all the way over on Hong Kong. So I ordered this pair last Sunday, which was about seven days ago, and I finally got the pair. So all in all, authentication, shipping out, arriving at my door, the GOAT process took about seven days all the way from Hong Kong, China. But that is enough GOAT stuff. I definitely do recommend GOAT if you guys are looking to pick up any new or used sneakers. GOAT is my favorite platform when it comes to authentication process, shipping time, and pricing. GOAT is number one in my opinion. But let's get into why you guys clicked on the video, the actual sneaker unboxing. So like I did show you guys, it is a normal New Balance box, no special packaging right here. I did go with a size 11, that is my size. And let's get into what is inside the box. Whoa, all right, all right. Yes, sir. So I did pick up the 2002 Protection Pack, the Rain Cloud colorway. Now this shoe did drop last year and I missed out on the release and I've been looking for it ever since. This is probably my favorite New Balance colorway model of all time. Let's get into some of the details. So I'm just super excited to have this pair in my collection. I've never seen this pair up close and personal. I think I've only seen it on a couple people's feet, but I've been dying to feel the materials and actually touch it. So I finally getting that chance. So right here we have the New Balance 2002 R protection pack and we got a lot of things going on. This is not a collab. This is a normal GR New Balance that just so happened to go crazy. There was three pairs in the pack. This gray one, an all white one, and an all black one. But this is the best colorway in my opinion. So for the materials, we'll start with the outsole. For the outsole, we have a gray kind of whitewashed outsole. We move up to the midsole and that's a creamy tan midsole. And then for the uppers is where we go crazy. Whole bunch of different suede's, 3M's, canvas materials, looking A1. Materials on this shoe definitely does not disappoint. One of my favorite aspects of this shoe is this leather tongue right here. So we do have a leather tongue right there with the New Balance branding right there in the middle. So for the toe box, we have a mix of suede, canvas, and 3M materials. As we wrap up to the middle portion of it, we have more suede. We have a light gray suede and a darker gray suede. As you wrap around to the heel portion, we have some more of that exposed foam. So one dope aspect that they did add to this shoe is that they kind of used that off-white touch and had the exposed foam on the tongue and back here on the heel portion. So one of my favorite aspects of the shoe is this touch of green. Even though the shoe is all gray, they managed to add this green portion right here, which is dope. It's New Balance's Energy. So it's kind of like an air unit, but New Balance's version of an air unit. For the insole, nothing too crazy, a plain gray insole. And the leather right here back on this heel portion is A1 as well. We do have the 2002 R branding right here. And for the sock lining, we do have this light gray cotton material, uh, super soft to the touch. So this pair does not come with any extra laces, but that doesn't matter because I would be rocking the white laces anyways. It looks beautiful with the white lacing system they have on here. So I was going throughout the box and I was looking for the Go authentication little pamphlet that they usually put in every box. And I did not receive one. So the Go sent me fakes? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't have that pamphlet. Maybe it got lost. Maybe they forgot to put it in. Um, but I trust GOAT. GOAT has always sent me legit stuff. And I will be definitely running these through a second authentication process on some of the apps like Check Check and taking them to some of my local stores just to make sure they are legit. 
but I did not get the Go Authentication little cutout card, basically letting me know that my shoes are authenticated by Go. And you already know, New Balance is a top five comfortable shoe, and the 2002R is up there, and I can't wait to throw this on feet today. This is going straight to the toe. The color combination, the way they cut the materials on the shoe, everything about this shoe is amazing. And you guys already know on this channel, we rate every shoe from one to 10. And if I had to give this shoe a rating, I'm gonna give this shoe a rating of a 9.8. This is a near perfect shoe. The only flaw that it does have to it is that it is a plain colorway. There's not really that pop of color, but with this shoe, with the materials, the comfort and the style wise, this shoe is a near perfect shoe in my opinion. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And in the comments down below, let me know what is your favorite New Balance model and colorway. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Both of those links will be down in the description box below. All right guys, it's Big Boy Tim. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.